Welcome to our lesson about the Polygon tool. Let's begin by activating the Polygon command. First thing we can do is specify the number of sides. The second option is to specify whether we want an inscribed or circumscribed polygon. An inscribed polygon means the polygon is created inside an imaginary circle. A circumscribed polygon means the polygon is created outside of the circle. In both cases, the polygon has tangency with the circle. I've just snapped the center to the origin point, left click to place my polygon, and here it is. We can change the polygon parameters after we've created it. For example, we can increase or decrease the number of sides. We can also toggle between inscribed and circumscribed. I can't change the coordinates of the center point, however, since it is snapped to the origin point in my case. OK, let's define our sketch. I'm going to make the diameter of the polygon 100 millimeters. Accept. Right-click and select to exit the tool. Now let's select one of the lines and add a horizontal relation. Alternatively, we could have used an angular dimension. I'm going to drop a couple construction lines here. And a vertical line. Smart dimension. Angular dimension here. Let's say 15 degrees. OK. Right-click and exit the tool. Now if you want to edit the polygon, simply right-click and select Edit Polygon. Or you can select a line and right-click anywhere in the graphic area, Edit Polygon. And for example, you can change the number of sides. Let's click Accept. Notice that when I change from inscribed to circumscribed, I lose my diameter dimension. That's because SolidWorks doesn't only move the circle from the inside to the outside, it deletes the first circle and creates a new one. Let's apply dimensions again. Let's say 110 millimeters. And our sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. This concludes our lesson about the Polygon tool.